Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Daily Hunts. I'm trying to get Despic involved in this um this whole series, not the Daily Hunt series, but another Monster Hunter series. But that is going to have to wait a tiny bit because he needs some practice. I have sent him off with the 3DS and the a copy of the game to make sure he can get that practice. So, today I am probably just going to go ahead and hunt a Crimson Kuropeko. I have to make it a fairly short episode because I am expected to go elsewhere to have cake and celebrate my birthday. I, I you know, I'm not, not that I'm complaining, cake and birthday sounds fucking great in pretty much every imaginable way, but, you know, I, I'm gonna have to keep it short is pretty much what I'm trying to get at. So right now I'm using the Ortland, which is a poison gun lance made from the Rathian. One of my favorite gun lances in the game. I unfortunately do not have, like, status up as a weapon, but I'm using G-rank gear and going on a high-rank quest. I should be fine on my own, even with the limited amount of stuff I have. Not to mention, it's always fairly easy to find a Kuropeko. Kuropekos do not often disappear. Did I bring anything else with me? Like, maybe some demon drugs? Yeah, I'll take a demon drug. Have some barrel bombs plus. Might as well use those to blow the fuck up. Uh, blow the fuck up out of the... Oh, man. This sentence is getting all kinds of jacked up. Blow the hell... Blow the hell out of the Kuropeko. I'm not going to give it a blowjob. Don't worry, guys. I know, unless you're into that kind of thing, in which case you can give all the blowjobs to Kuropekos you want to. Well, you, you can't, actually. If you're into that kind of thing, I feel sorry for you and your fetish because there's pretty much no way of actually fulfilling that. It's kind of, it's kind of a st sad state of affairs, all things considered. It, it's a bit like the fetish, um, I, I'm not sure what it's called, but there's actually a fetish where you like giants. And I'm, I'm afraid that it's just completely unfulfillable. You will never be satisfied with your sex life. And I hate to tell you, but it's true. It's really unfortunate. Now, the Kuropeko generally starts in Area 7, but you can never get to Area 7 in time before it takes off. So I generally check the other areas first, or just hang out there until it lands. Generally, I find Kuropeko spend a lot of their time in 5, 9, 10. Well, 5 and 9 and occasionally 10. And I think they can also go to Area 2, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I just kind of wish the high rank hunts didn't have to be during nighttime. I would much rather be able to just kind of hang out during the daytime. I think things look nicer during the day sometimes, and I would I would like to be able to hunt during those times, you know? Is that so much to ask for? Uh, who, hey, what is it good for? Pretty much absolutely nothing. Oh, actually, um, fighting and war are good for a lot of things, it's just not always the best solution. I just like to say, get the fuck back over here, you goddamn Kuropeko asshole. Dick bag, and I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get Cha Cha to set a trap here. Okay, lovely. Oh, he's just gonna call cats over. Okay, I'm good with that. There's no large monsters, so I'm at no risk of having large monsters called at any time, which is fucking great. Just want to get like behind this trap. Come on, come on, Peko. I know you wanna. Charge me, motherfucker! No oh, shit. Okay, so... Hent dive! And there we go. I'm not stunned. It, on the other hand, is in a bit of trouble. What I'm gonna do is put down both large barrel bombs. Pull out my... My gun lance and wyvern fire to his face. Yeah, look at that. Broke the hell out of his beak. By shooting it in the head. You can't break me if you make me dead. Oh, actually, that is a fairly good way of breaking me, in all honesty. Seems like it would be fairly effective, all things considered. Still trying to call things over? That is alright with me. Especially since there is nothing they can currently call over. That is kind of like the ideal. Oh no! I have been stunned! I'm not too concerned about the prospects of actually losing to this thing. Although, I do hate its goddamn lightning blight attacks. So, yeah, you might notice it is already poisoned. Which is good times for me. 
as it is probably taking quite a bit of poison damage. I'm not sure if poison always does the exact same set amount of damage depending on its resistance or what. And to be honest, the reason I don't use this very much anymore is because I often use poison damage and I don't notice it's doing much. It isn't like stun damage or knockout damage or sleep damage even, which is very, very noticeable. Let's get a few hits off there. Broke one of its splints. Uh, I was really hoping that I could actually break its splint there, but I didn't get any of the hits I wanted to off. You can just go under its tail, or under its foot, and keep on attacking. Remember, I do have sharpness, so I pretty much cannot break my gun lance. The one really great thing about this gun lance is how easy it is to tell when you are ready for another wyvern fire. As you can see the end is glowing gold right now, that means it is charging, and it's smoking quite a lot. But the second the end stops glowing, I'm ready for another wyvern fire, so it's very, very easy to keep track of it. I'd really like to attack a sack and get to be all sad and run away. Yeah, there we go. I did it. I got a tier. Probably just going to be a wyvern tier. Nothing else really special, but check it out. Yeah, just a wyvern tier. Whatever. An extra thousand dollars never hurt anybody. Well, okay. Probably somebody's killed, hired somebody else to kill somebody else for a thousand dollars before. So I'm not going to say a thousand dollars has never hurt anybody. Actually, a thousand dollars worth of debt even more specifically, can very easily hurt somebody, if you ask me. It's quite damaging, especially if you don't have the means to pay it off, or you don't have a job, and you just spend a lot of time worrying about the dead, and like stress, and it causes heart problems, and there's, there's a lot of ways a thousand dollars can be on bad for you. There we go. I, I was really expecting to actually get this thing to, um, oh, I can use a wyvern fire, might as well. Boom. Yeah, boom, awesome. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, 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 boom. So this thing should actually be dead pretty soon. I should be using the um, full shelling as often as possible. Just cause, well, just cause a lot of reasons, but mainly because um, the full shelling is, gets a bonus when you're using a normal gun lance, which I currently am. Which is why it has so many bullets. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Yeah, knocked it out of the sky. Nothing else to break, so at this point I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible, as fast as possible, whenever I hit it. To that end, I've got to make sure to be constantly reloaded, have it constantly poisoned, which is happening pretty well so far. I think it is currently in rage. I don't entirely know about that. Looks pretty upset about itself just there. Unfortunately, it didn't drop me another tier. And it is taking off to go back home. I think it's going back home anyways. I'm going to watch its shadow just in case. Okay, yes. It, it could also be going to eat. Sometimes I get confused about that and I make a bad decision and shit goes all kinds of wrong for me. But this time it is actually going back to its nest. Hopefully, I will, by the time I get there, it will be asleep. The only good thing about the path that, like, it, the, the only good thing about it being able to fly directly to its nest, as opposed to stopping in other areas, is by the time that I get there, it will usually be asleep, and then I can just kind of unload a full, I don't know, shelling or wyvern fire. It didn't go straight to its nest. It went to here first. You're gonna die male or female. I was gonna say boy, but hey, that's kind of... Well, I'm not sure if it's racist. It's imitating a type of person who did exist, who was a fucking asshole. So I guess in a way that's racist. I don't know. But but it's, it's also um, not necessarily a boy. I don't know whether... I think there are male and female Crimson Crow Pecos. Or maybe it's like Crimson Crow Pecos are the males in mating season. You know, like peacocks? Could be. Ow. Don't fucking do that. Nobody cares about your goddamn shit. There we go. Managed to get it to stop calling again, which is always nice. Right, yeah. Gentle For some reason I said calling, I'm like, gentleman caller? What now? Am I a gentleman caller? I don't know what I'm talking about. 
I, I just can't get the word gentleman caller in my head and it's interrupting all my commentary. And I don't know what to do about it. You assholes. Took my demon drug. Don't really want to drink an armor skin at this point. Don't really need a potion. Might as well clam up. Clam up. Clam up to where I once belonged. I could have waited a bit longer and it would have been asleep, but that is perfectly all right with me. He is calling more fa- um, I almost said phalanxes, and I killed him. Awesome. Might as well harvest. If nothing else, you can always use the harvested parts to sell if you already have like a hundred of them. So always harvest. I did have several people tell me that it's always better to kill than to capture. Yes, that is true, but the reason I captured the Rathian quite a few episodes ago is because I actually want to get bumble pumpkins and fucking corn so I can eventually make that stupid armor that takes way too many of those motherfuckers. Yeah, that thing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was rather short and kind of like stupidly anticlimactic and predictable. Like I said, just have to get a couple things out today before I go out and celebrate. And celebrate. Probably, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.